In this video, I'm going to discuss about this molecular orbital energy diagram of hydrogen chloride that is HCl. In, uh, in my previous video, I've discussed about this uh, uh, molecular orbital energy diagram of HF, now H is HCl. Yes, during the formation of HCl, the hydrogen atom and chlorine atom combines. And here, this is the heterodiatomic molecule because these two atoms are of a different type which are combining. And hydrogen, uh, its atomic number is one, so it's one S1. And chlorine, it is 17, so one S2, two S2, two P6, uh, three S2, and three P5. And if you see the electronegativity difference in between hydrogen and chlorine here, Chlorine is more electronegative when compared to that of this hydrogen. Uh, yes. And when you try to draw the uh, molecular orbital energy diagram of this HCl here, yes, for hydrogen, electronic configuration is 1s1 since there is only one electron. And for this thing, it is 17 for chlorine. So 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, uh, 3s2, and 3p5. I'm showing only the inner electrons here. I'm not showing the inner electrons here. So 3s and 3p uh, for the diagram because these are only involved in the bonding here. And if you can see that this is a hydrogen energy atomic orbitals, and this is for chlorine. And for chlorine, 3s and 3p orbitals are here. And for hydrogen, it is the 1s orbitals. Yes, and if you see here, the energy of this uh, 3p orbital of chlorine is lesser than the 1s orbital of this hydrogen. So 3s here cannot combine or uh, uh, is uh, cannot combine or linearly combine with 1s orbital because of the vast energy difference here. So here uh, 3s remains as here non-bonding electrons, I mean, remain as non-bonding electrons as 3s itself. And the combination of this, uh, yeah, try it again. So this remains as what a non-bonding electrons because this uh, energy of this 3s orbital of chlorine is not matching with the 1s. And the one which is matching uh, with energy and also symmetry with 1s orbital of this hydrogen, it's Pz orbital of this uh, 3Pz orbital because Pz orbital, it's oriented along the internuclear axis. So sp combination of this is possible. So this is resulting in the formation of sigma spz orbital. So 1s orbital of this uh, hydrogen will combine with the 3pz orbital of chlorine, so resulting in the sigma spz orbital and sigma star spz orbital uh, anti-bonding molecular orbital. This is bonding molecular orbital and anti-bonding anti molecular orbital where S orbital of this hydrogen will overlap with the Pz, that is 3Pz orbital of this chlorine because the match, I mean, more or less uh, the energy is same and also the symmetry is matching. Whereas Px and Py are oriented uh, perpendicular to the internuclear axis. So they remain as anti-bonding, I mean, non-bonding electrons here. So these are the two non-bonding electrons here, that is, 3px and 3p5. If you fill up the electrons in all of them here, yes, here only one s1 electron, and here it is 3s2 and 3p5. And here I said that 3s is not matching in energy with the 1s, so they remain as non bonding electrons, that is 3s only. And here, the combination of this 1s and 3pz orbitals resulting in the sigma spz and sigma star spz orbitals. And the px and py, uh, that is 3px and 3py, remain as, again, non-bonding electrons. So again, two electrons each in these 3px and 3py orbitals. And one electron of this 1s and pz orbital, there is one electron. So these two will enter into the sigma spz orbital. And this is the molecular orbital energy level diagram for hydrogen chloride. 
if you can uh, calculate the bond order for this, so half into the number of electrons in the bonding molecular orbital minus the number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital. So half into only bonding. This is a non-bonding. This is also non-bonding PXP minus so only bonding electrons in the sigma type. So two, and there are no electrons here, zero. So half into two is one. So bond order is two. There is one covalent bond which is formed in between H and C here. And if you can see here, since the bond order is one, the molecule is stable and the molecule do exist. And if you can see the magnetic behavior, there are no unpaired electrons. So it is diamagnetic in nature like HF. So it is diamagnetic in nature because there are no unpaired electrons. And it is colorless too, because again, there are no unpaired electrons. It is forms uh, low spec complexes because again, no unpaired electrons. And if you can see here, this is not symmetrical. Because if I said the electronegativity difference is vast here, the hydrogen and chlorine. Chlorine is more electronegative when compared to that of the hydrogen here. And here, when one of the atoms is more electronegative, that means when of one of the combining atoms is more electronegative here. So during the formation of this molecular orbitals, the um, atomic orbitals of more electronegative atom, that is chlorine, contribute more towards the formation of bonding molecular orbital and less towards the formation of this antibonding molecular orbital. In the same way, the less electronegative atom, that is H, the atomic orbitals of hydrogen contribute more towards the formation of antibonding molecular orbitals and less towards the formation of this bonding molecular orbital. So as a whole, the bonding molecular orbitals are closer towards the more electronegative atoms, in this case chlorine, and antibonding molecular orbitals are always closer towards the less electronegative atom, hydrogen. Because during the formation of this molecular orbital, I mean bonding molecular orbitals, the atomic orbitals of chlorine contribute more. That is why they're more closer towards this chlorine. As a result, as a whole, the clo I have due to this reason, the HCl is polar. So this bond is what it's a polar covalent bond which is formed in between them. And so if you see the uh, <clears throat> Bond length of HCl. So here, if you see the bond length in between H and Cl is 1.27 angstroms and bond energy. Bond energy is one or three kilocalories per mole. So this is about the molecular orbital energy diagram of hydrogen chloride. Uh, where we can see this is not symmetrical because of the electronegativity difference in between H and Cl, where bonding molecular orbitals are more closer towards chlorine and antibonding molecular, uh, molecular orbitals are more closer towards hydrogen here because of their electronegativity difference. So if you like my video, please do like, share, subscribe in my channel. The whole video of this chemical bonding has been discussed on my YouTube channel and the details of being uh, given in the description box below.